Hi, I'm Andrea Sava with REDB.net, and I'm here with Josh Willis of the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, also a self-proclaimed idiot leftist scientist. Hi, Josh. Hi. Really excited to be here. So you work for the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. What do you do there? I study global warming and climate change, uh, specifically the rising oceans. So I look at data from satellites that measure how tall the ocean is. And this is important for oceanographers, which was my training, because whenever there's a big current in the ocean, it tilts the ocean surface. We measure that tilt from space, and it tells us about the currents. Uh, but it turned out that this particular instrument was really, really accurate, and it can actually measure global sea level rise with an accuracy of just a few millimeters from 800 miles up in space. So it's really an amazing technological feat, but it's also one of our most important measurements of how fast the climate's changing. So I've now heard that it is unequivocally determined that human beings are the majority cause for climate change. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Well, absolutely. Uh, human beings are definitely causing global warming, no doubt about it. Uh, in fact, sea level rise is one of the real nails in the coffin for anybody who thinks we're not changing the climate. If you look at the ocean levels over the last 10,000 years, they've been mostly stable. Especially the last three or 4,000 years, sea level was constant. Now it's rising at a rate not seen in over 10,000 years. So we're really experiencing something today caused by people that hasn't happened in our lifetime of our civilization. So it's really a major change we're causing on the Earth. So what can we do as human beings to help stop climate change or help level it off a little bit? Well, action about the climate has to come really from two different directions. It has to come from the ground up because everyone can do their part to reduce their carbon footprint. But it has to come from the top down too because this is a global problem. We have to curb our addiction to fossil fuels and that requires our policymakers, our leaders, to take action as well. We can't do it all by ourselves. Individually, uh, there's all kinds of ways to shrink your carbon footprint. Uh, you can, uh, of course, use public transportation. Uh, you can green your home so that you're not wasting heat and air conditioning if your uh, home is well insulated. Um, you can turn off the lights when you're not using them. Turn off the water when you're not using that. But the most important thing you can do is talk to your congressman, senator, local council member, the mayor, we have dozens of people that represent each one of us uh, from the local level all the way up to the president. And they need to know how we feel about climate change, uh, not just at elections, but in between too. Sounds like a good plan. Now you're also a member of the Lollygaggers Comedy Sketch Group, is that right? Well, in all my spare time when I'm not being a climate scientist, uh, I like to do sketch comedy. And we've created this show called The Lollygaggers. And it's a sketch show about global warming. And in it we see fun characters like penguins, polar bears, as a grizzly bear, all experiencing the impacts of global warming and climate change. I look forward to watching. Thank you for all of your research and for your comedy as well. I'm Andrea Savo with REDB.net. Thank you for watching.